Today, I am getting my lip filler dissolved. Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. It is Monday, August 30th. It's about 10.30 a.m. And I have a very exciting, scary day today. I'm making my shake for breakfast right now because I'm not gonna have time to eat like a full breakfast here. So I want to make something that I can just bring with me. But today I am getting my lip filler dissolved. If you're new to my channel, I have lip filler. I've been getting it for about five years. If you're not new, this is not new to you. I have videos here on my channel getting filler, but just over time, naturally, if you have lip filler, let me multitask, let me move this. Cause like, we ain't got time. So when you have filler, it does dissolve over time, especially when you're first getting it. So I always tell people that if you wanna try filler or you're thinking about it, but you're scared or whatever, I say just do it because the first time for sure it's going to dissolve and be gone so at least if you don't like it it'll dissolve or you can get it dissolved but it'll dissolve naturally over time hello but if you build it up over years and years and years it's not it's going to dissolve a little bit that's why you go back and get it touched up but it doesn't fully dissolve anymore because you've you have so much in there, if that makes sense. Um, and then over time, it's just bound to migrate. It's not because the product is bad. It's not because the injector is bad. Sometimes it is the injector's fault. Like if I have seen cases of migrated filler that is like up to someone's fucking nose. In that case, it is what I think the injector because there's no way your lip filler should migrate that much mine has migrated slightly on the top only on the outsides because i just naturally don't have like big lips over there i don't know if you guys can see it or if you can to me it's very obvious it's not so much like right here but on the sides if i go like that you can kind of see i can see it like right here on the sides the bottom is fine but what i'm gonna do i talked to jen about it prior to making this appointment. So my plan is to dissolve all of my lip filler, top and bottom, and I'm just gonna go from there and see. I haven't seen my natural lips in a long time, and it's one of those things that when I look at old photos, I think I have no lips at all, like none. So I don't know, I've seen videos of people getting their filler dissolved and their lips look really, really good natural again. So if that's the case, then I'm just gonna leave them unfilled and just be like done with lip filler i do get filler in my nose to get rid of a bump it's just a little bit and i touch that up like once a year so i'm not saying i'll be done with like all this kinds of stuff just i think if i like my lips natural i'm gonna keep them natural if i don't i am gonna get them filled again i'm just not gonna fill them as much as i have been over the years i'm just gonna keep it more just a little bit more natural. I'm super, super scared because lip filler doesn't hurt in my opinion because you're numb and it's like, whatever you do feel is like barely anything. I heard that the dissolver hurts like a bitch. It sounds horrible. So I'm scared, but I, I'm excited to do it though. Cause I just think that this is the right move for me right now. So I'm excited. My appointment's at 12.30. I like to leave like an hour ahead of time in case there's traffic and it's 10.45. So I gotta leave soon and we will head to go see Jen. She's not new to this channel. You've seen her before if you're not new to my vlogs, but I'm gonna make my shake. Tori's coming with me. She just walked down the stairs. <laughs> she's coming with me cause she's nice enough to help me vlog this. But yeah, we're just gonna get our life together and then we'll see you at Jen's office. You're scared? I heard it hurts. I've never it scared does. for filler. I know. I'm it scared. does hurt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use a little bit of lidocaine mm -hmm. and do a little nerve block. Mm -hmm. And it will numb it all up so you don't feel a thing. Oh, thank God. <laughs> but it does hurt if you don't do that. Okay? That's what I heard. And that's why I was like, I'm never it's scared for filler, but this I'm scared for. It burns. I can tell you from personal experience, it burns. <laughs> but it's very quick. Uh, okay. So what you are going to see with this is you're going to swell up a lot. I heard that too. Um, just right away. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to massage afterwards. Mm -hmm. So your homework is to massage, work it into all the, all the little filler spots. And then without, like throughout the day, the swelling goes down. Mm -hmm. By the next day, it's fine. I can also bruise you a lot. Mm -hmm. So what I do to prevent that is I use a cannula. 
Okay. So I don't bruise a lot of people with leukemia. I'm, st I'm scared because I'm also going to have no upper lip after this. Are we going to refill? I'm or was there, was so there a goal I already to get rid made, of everything? My goal is to get rid of it and just see how I feel. But I had already made an appointment okay. in October because you had an opening. Just okay. to hit, like, I'm thinking I'm just going to, like, fill it and just not go as much as I've done in the past. Yeah, because we've always used, like, a Juvederm Ultra on you, mm -hmm. something really puffy. Mm -hmm. So we can go back in and we can use something less puffy, essentially. Mm -hmm. Something that's not going to draw as much water to it, so mm -hmm. it won't bulk up as mm -hmm. much. A little flatter, less projection. Mm -hmm. We could do something like that. I'm just, like, at that stage in my life. Yeah. You don't need big lips anymore. Yeah, like, you know, she's there mentally, I think. Yeah. We'll see after I have no lips again. Yeah, you're I gonna feel, you're gonna feel like lip withdrawal. You're gonna, oh god, what did I do? Mm -hmm. It's okay, sit with it. Yeah. Sit with it for a month or so, see what it does to your face, mm -hmm. how you think of your face. And then when we when I see you in October, we can decide what to do then. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. I was like, let me make this appointment because I know you get booked and I was like, let me just have it. <laughs> So yeah, that I if don't... you want to refill, you can. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay. A little poke here. Is your nerve back? Okay. Oh, all okay. your nerve paths line up in a oh. straight line. And so I can feel for the notch right here because mm -hmm. they've got a nerve path right here. So this one's a little farther in than that one. And then I'm going to mix up your Hylinex. I will mix a little bit of lidocaine in it. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll get started. I might use a little bit with the needle, but not anywhere where I'm going to cause a bruise. This stuff works so fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm already. Yeah. Feel any of that? Mm mm. Perfect. Feel any of that? Mm mm. So I want you to massage for the next hour. Mm -hmm. Two fingers, mm -hmm. just like roll it around. Okay. I'm gonna give you some bacitracin to use okay. as a little gel. And then by tomorrow, a lot of it should be gone. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so just got done. I can't feel literally my mouth or face at all. Am I talking weird? Are they bigger? They're a little swollen, but that's normal. I just can't fucking talk because I can't feel anything, which I love. Love her for that. It's almost 1.30. We're just going to head home now and just chill the rest of the day. I need to like clean up a little, do some laundry. We're going to head home and I'll probably update you guys in a couple hours to see how it's looking. <laughs> I feel so weird, <laughs> but I'll see you at home. Okay, it's been a couple hours. It's four o'clock now. So it's been about two and a half hours and this is what my lips are looking like. I can feel everything now, like my face doesn't feel numb. It feels a little bit weird, like where she injected the numbing stuff, but it doesn't like hurt or anything. But this is what my lips are looking like two and a half hours later. The swelling, I feel like, has gone down a lot and I feel like my filler is dissolving. When I touch it, it just feels a little bit deflated. So we'll see how it continues to go down. She did mention that I might have to come in for a second dissolving session. It just depends on the person and if it all dissolves the first time or not, especially cause I've had the filler in my lips for so long. Sorry if I keep touching them. I just feel like I'm gonna keep touching them. And then one time I touch them, my lips are gonna be like gone. <laughs> I just don't remember what my lips felt like before filler, like how small they were or anything like that. So when I look at pictures of my lips before filler, I think that they're fucking non-existent, but maybe I'm just, I don't know. Maybe they weren't that small and I'm just crazy. I don't know. 
We'll see though. So it's four o'clock. I need to start a load of laundry and do the dishes and just do some things around the house. But I will keep updating you on the lips every few hours. I'm just so curious how it's gonna look. We will see. Okay, it's the next day at 11.45. I've been up for a minute, but I've just been having a day mentally, not due to the lips thing, just separate issues. But I wanted to give you an update on the lips. It's pretty interesting because now it has been, let's see, it hasn't even been 24 hours yet, but almost. I would say that my bottom lip is, unless I'm mistaken, completely dissolved. And then the sides of my top lip are completely dissolved but then the middle of my top lip is still there so i don't know if you guys can tell it's giving this weird like m shape because the sides are dissolved right here and then it dips down because it's not dissolved right there maybe it's not as bad as i think it, it is but it looks so funny to me Hopefully that starts to go away. On one hand, I know that dissolver works pretty quickly, like in the first 12 to 24 hours, but it does say it can take up to 48 hours, but I'm just like, why would it take these parts less time and then this part more time? So I'm thinking this part is just not dissolving, like it's just being stubborn and is not dissolving. So we'll see how it goes over the next 24 hours because it's been almost 24 hours otherwise i'm gonna have to go back and get more dissolver and i just really hope i don't have to do that but aside from that i'm just having a mixture of anxiety as well as an annoying frustrated feeling i also have not mentioned this anywhere yet i don't think but i have a job interview tomorrow a friend of mine works at this company and she you know told me that they're hiring so it, this is the same conflict i have in my head constantly constantly this is like the number one conflict that i deal with internally the issue for me is not getting a job it's if i want the job i guess because okay Pros and cons of getting or having this job. The pros are that obviously I'm gonna make money and I need money. <laughs> that's, that's probably the biggest, one of two of the biggest motivators when it comes to when these job opportunities kind of fall in my lap or some job opportunity like pops up for me. The first move I wanna make is towards, yeah, I wanna do the job, I need the job, I should take the job. That's what I should do because of money, because money fucking controls everybody's life. And so I'm like, okay, I need this job so that I can have more money. Cause as of right now, I am making very, very, very little money from YouTube and and TikTok and like Amazon links and stuff. So like very, we're talking all of those streams of income combined doesn't even cover one bill. So making money, but very, very, very little money. So it's like, I could take this job and obviously I would have a steady paycheck. It would cover the bills, give me less anxiety when it comes to money and finances, allow me to have a little bit more financial freedom. It would make me feel less guilty when I have to buy things or even want to buy things. So it's like, all around money it's like yeah i should take the job i should do the job the second thing is like the pressure of like uh my friends don't really pressure me in any way but like and my family doesn't pressure me per se anymore however you still feel the pressure because even though they don't say it anymore like i know my family so well and so i know how they think and feel most of the time about my decisions when it comes to all of my decisions because my decision making is not or even in the same realm as my family's decision making okay i their decisions they're going this way and i'm going this way it's not like the important things the important things like you know politics and like stupidity and those types of things we're all on the same page but when it comes to like 
the other things, the superficial things, we are like, like this. So they don't pressure me, but I still feel the pressure from them, which might be a me thing. They're not, it's not really a them thing because they're not like pressuring me. I'm just putting the pressure from them on me because I like know that it's there even though they're not making it apparent that it's there. I don't know what I'm saying. It's like I should take the job because of money and I would feel less pressure from everyone because they'd be like, she has a job, yay. Like she's back in like the normal path of life. But then on the other hand, I'm like, is this a repeated test that I continue to fail where I don't wanna take these jobs per se but I do and what I really should do is turn the jobs down and just focus and grind on what I want to do even though it's very very slow growing and just like struggle through the struggles right now and it'll pay off later type of thing it's like I get so torn of what I'm supposed to do or like this whole test opportunity divide that I put in my head today since I have this interview tomorrow I'm very anxious because I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. Because I feel like not taking the job is more of a selfish decision. When it comes to finances and stuff like that, like that doesn't just affect me. Obviously, like I'm married, we have a mortgage, we have bills. So I should take the job. I don't know. I'm just stressed. And then on top of the stress of this potential job, I just have like little stresses here and there about stupid stuff. Like I feel like the house is always dirty and it stresses me out. That's how you know you're an adult. When the messiness of your house literally stresses you out to the point that you want to like cry or just like throw the whole fucking house away that's how i feel because there's three of us living in this small house and we just have so much shit i've said this so many times before i can clean this house top to bottom in and out dust every corner every crevice and within a day and a half it's fucking trashed again just because we have so much shit it's like, it's more that we need a bigger house, but we obviously just bought this house and we would not be able to afford a bigger house right now. So it's just stressful and the clutter, the clutter is stressing me out like never before. And I'm also feeling just like I need space Space from the universe. I always feel like this. I mean, this is nothing new. I've said it before. I just feel like I need like the world to stop and people to like just leave me alone for a second so I can just like get everything together. I'm just feeling very overwhelmed, I guess is the word. I'm feeling overwhelmed. And the issue is when I feel like this, I do something extreme. Like my behavior gets extreme when I feel overwhelmed. I'll either like go get a piercing or a tattoo or <laughs> The last time I was overwhelmed with our house, I went through the house and just threw all kinds of shit away. Not even thinking clearly, not in a calm manner. I just was like, if I see it and it's annoying me in that very second, throwing it away. And I'll just throw all kinds of shit away. Whether it's mine or not, I don't even give a fuck. If I see it and it's in my way and it's annoying me and its presence is pissing me off, I'll just throw it away. So I get in these really extreme behaviors when I feel like this. So I'm trying to talk myself off the ledge why is that car right there just stop that's weird and creepy move along but yeah that's what i'm currently dealing with but as far as the lips go we're doing good i just hope that this middle part dissolves and honestly aside from this middle part the way the sides and the bottom of my lip is looking i don't hate it without the filler the top lip is the concern i was i never like thought i had no bottom lip it's the top lip we're concerned about but yeah i'm just gonna start trying to push my psychotic behavior aside and get done what i actually need to get done today and like try not to break down while i do it okay bye i'll see you later okay it's actually about a week later now um i was going to i don't even remember the last time i updated the vlog with the lips but i was just trying to see if they were going to continue to go down or not because after the i would say first and second day my top lip still had some filler in it mostly in the middle so i was just seeing if it was going to continue to go down so i can give you like a final reveal of how my lips look and now that it's been about a week i've realized that i don't think it's going to go down anymore and jen did tell me that i might have to do a second dissolving session that's completely normal i think it just depends on the person the type of filler how long it's been in there and all of that i am going to have to get a second dissolving session but this is what my lips are looking like about a week later 
So they are still a little bit plump, but my bottom lip is dissolved. Like this is as small as my bottom lip is gonna get, I'm pretty sure. As you can probably tell, the filler that had migrated on the top, on the sides, that is gone. Like there's no filler in the sides anymore, but there's still, you can probably just see that it's kind of plump right here in the middle. This is as much as it's gonna dissolve at this point. And then in about a month, I'm gonna go in for a second dissolving session and then go from there. I'm just gonna live with it and like see how I like my face like that, see how I just, if I like it or if I don't. If I don't, I'm obviously not against filler whatsoever and I will just get them refilled. Just, I just don't wanna go as big or as crazy as I went um, over the past few years. But maybe I'm just gonna like my lips as they are. I, I feel like I'm sort of transitioning into a phase where I kind of want to be my more natural self. Not that I didn't wanna be natural before. I was just, I think, when I was younger, I was just very, very, very insecure about certain things like my nose, my lips, my chin. I'm still insecure about other things, my body, whatever. It's just part of me and my journey, I guess. But I'm kind of getting to a place where maybe I prefer the bump on my nose and my natural lips. I don't know. We'll see. We're just gonna play it by ear, but you know that whatever I end up doing, I will vlog it and keep you guys in the loop so that if you're on a similar journey or if you just have questions or you're curious, you can see the process and how it all goes down. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have a skincare update, so I'm gonna have that video up as soon as possible too. So lots going on, so make sure you're subscribed, all the things, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.